Morning everyone, welcome to day 16 of Vlogmas, my goodness, Christmas is seriously coming so fast, what we're we, nine days away now, does not feel like it at all, anyway, last night at Sports Personality of the Year was incredible, I cannot believe I got to see all those sports stars in person, it was amazing, the arena was brilliant, the sound, the way it all like flew like there were no hiccups or anything on stage the crowd were awesome oh it was just absolutely brilliant and it's such a good view of all the stars and everything it was just amazing i loved it and also on our seats we all got freebies so first thing we got free was a this torch so it's sports personality at 60 and it was a really good torch actually which woo, shines like that and we had to put this on at times like when they did the obituary section and um, when John Newman was on singing and stuff. We had to put them up and be like, you know, sky full of lights kind of thing. But when you panned around the arena, it looked incredible like that. <coughs> Sorry, my throat, I've got a frog. And then we got this, a bag on our seats, which inside had a free... Dun, dun, dun. Can I open it? Program, which was awesome because usually they cost about ten pounds to do the programs, and we got it for free. So yay! And it's really good inside. It's got like all basically what the awards were gonna happen, people who were nominated for things, and like all of this year's contenders. And the overall winner was. Andy Murray, as everyone predicted, really. I think he won the vote out of everyone by 56%, which is crazy. And then it's got all the past winners. And the first year I ever watched it was, like, properly was 2002 Paula Radcliffe year. So I was 10 years old then, and I've watched it ever since. And then this year I got to go. And then it's got a bit of all sorts, really. And it's just was really, really good. And I loved it. And it was just amazing. If ever it comes to your city or a city that's close to you that you can get to and you're kind of thinking about going, I would just say, go, go, go. It was just brilliant. Another thing that was really interesting was, like, when they do the VT um, on, like, the telly, obviously that's live on the TV and then they can't see what's happening in the arena so it was really interesting watching almost like the backstage stuff seeing what they were all doing when the camera was rolling so like organising the light and getting people on and off the stage and things like that it was pretty cool so that is that I'm off down to get my breakfast now so that's that I've just finished my breakfast and now I am going to jam and buttercream the cake I did yesterday. It's like obviously it's been overnight so it's completely cold now so I am going to get going with the cake. Oh look at that, it looks so good. Oh I could just eat it now literally. Look how big it looks. I'm excited to get this made now. Jam and buttercream complete. Not everyone in my family likes jam and buttercream so I have left. Uh, like a running on each side with none of that on. So I'm going to sandwich that together now. Sandwich it together and flatten the top off by shaving a little bit off it. So it's pretty straight now and I've got it on the board so it's time to get the fondant out. I don't know why my voice keeps doing that, it sounds so weird, sorry about that. Fondant's rolled out, check and now Apricot jam glue is in the microwave ready to melt. We just got some new Christmas cards in the post and I'm just sorting everything out. It takes ages sometimes. That's all for the green bin, like all the envelope recycling stuff. They're the cards. These are the ones I've got left to do. These are the ones with all our address on which needs to be shred and that's the stamp pile. It's crazy how much you have to do these days with recycling and you can't put your dress in a bin because someone will steal it and blah de blah de blah. So that is what I am in the middle of doing. Then I'll probably put them on the banister with some blue tack with the rest of them. So I have, since I did the Christmas cards, I had my dinner and then was just tidying around the house making beds, emptying bins and all that sort of boringy stuff, things like that. Emptying dishwasher. 
things like that and now I am off to work and do you know it's not even that cold enough to say well what are we 16th of December it ain't even that cold I'm not even going out with my gloves tonight and that is saying something um so it's so nice not to have all the wind and the rain it just makes such a difference and it'd be like dead dead cold and like defrosting the car and stuff like that it just makes your life so much easier so thank you the weather for making it like it is now so I will see you later does anyone else have these for their tree Cadbury's tree decorations I'm about to take them out of the packet and then tie the tops up so they can hang on the tree they're nice and then this is what they look like inside. I think I'm getting another cold again, by the way, guys, which is no good. My nose is feeling blocked. I've got a sore throat again. I need to nip good. But anyway, little snowmen. What's this one? A sleigh. And then you've got to just tie the ends up. So I'm going to crack on with them now. I'm sorry, you can probably barely hear me again. <laughs> I don't know why I keep talking in like rhyme today and like da 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 Now I sound just weird. I've just done my first one. You see the little knot. And it's a snowman. And it smells so good. Cadbury's chocolate. So that's one. And they've got a sleigh. A star. Another star. A Christmas tree. So I'm going to get cracking with tying all of these now. Finished. I need to hang these on the tree now. And hopefully I won't eat any of them. Although it is extremely, extremely tempting. Right, that's me done for day 16 of Vlogmas, guys. It's 20 past 9 and I am brewing another cold. I cannot believe it. I'm feeling rubbishy and I'm just going to go to bed to go to sleep, I think. I'm not even going to stay up to watch Made in Chelsea and that is saying something. That is how tired and rubbishy I feel. I'm going to record it though so I might watch it in the morning. So in the night, I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye!